my name is Deepak Deeprakash. It's been over uh, two and a half decades. Uh, I've been working very closely with the MSMEs of India, uh, predominantly working towards the technology piece, selling products and solutions, making them understanding their needs and trying to uh, help them grow and operate their business. I was working with Tally for a very long time. Currently, I'm working with InstaMojo Technologies. This is also a company which predominantly builds solutions platform for MSMEs of India. When you want talent, you don't get talent. When you don't want talent, there is talent abundance. And there's this other side of the story. India mein employment nahi hai, humko employment nahi milti. And then there is this businessman, ki mujhe log nahi milti. Let's do what we can do as MSMEs or as people. First, let's be very clear of what you want this person to do. What is his deliverable? Let's be very clear about that. And let's articulate that he's going to come here. And this year, he's going to work on these, these things, which are going to add value to my business to my work that I do here. Then you have to figure out if he has to do this work, what kind of uh, skill set he requires, what kind of knowledge he requires and what kind of attitude you expect him to have. Let me differentiate between all three. Knowledge usually you will be able to assess uh, because he's studied from somewhere and he has acquired the knowledge which has been designed by centuries and you know hundreds of years of work by academics. That if he's an engineer, he can do. If he's an electrical engineer, he can do electrical engineering work. Or if he's a, you know, he's a supervisor, so he knows how to supervise people. He can manage people very well. If he's an HR person, studied HR, he knows how people policies etc. work. So that is your knowledge bit. So you can take the aspect of uh, how he's done his graduation, where is he studied in his senior years, and what is the knowledge that he's acquired and how it can be relevant to his work. So that solves a bit of a problem. The second part is when he comes to work, he has to marry his knowledge with the skill set that you require him to operate. Now, the skill is not easily available. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to become, uh, it's, it's the right statement, but I think, or not, I think colleges are giving us knowledge, but they're not doing right justification towards the skill set one requires. Yes, internships do happen, but we all know what happens in internships. Right? And internships actually should be about how they can acquire skill sets and how can they acquire, they can understand how uh, corporates or how companies you know actually communicate so that's the other part assess him for his skill set that what is the skills that you require and does he have those skills so skills could not may not be very mature but even if he's started working towards that even if he can demonstrate that he's able to handle that skill set then i think he's a good person to bring in the third part the attitude uh, it's also known as trait this is something which is inherent you can't change let me give you an example your entire company might be in a business or you might be a very soft-spoken person and your entire company might be a very soft-spoken company which does not mean you're not good business right and what you will need is a person who's a soft-spoken guy now if you get a very aggressive you know uh, a loud guy he will not fit in the environment he will also find himself displaced and you will also find himself he'll find himself displaced and you'll find him as a not fit and very soon you will lose that talent so that's part of you know how you should get in people now let me take you to the other part. Let's try to do those things, the experiences that they get in large companies in a smaller way to get in our companies. Let me give you an example. There is a food court in a large company where employees can go and have food. In our place, we can have packaged food. In the evening, we can have some snacks coming in for them. And that holds them on for a very, very long time, right? That brings a lot of belongingness. Maybe we will not go once in a month to five-star hotel for a dinner or for a conference. But we can definitely go to a small safari lodge once in three months and spend you know a little money along with them and that creates a lot of bonding and that creates a lot of belongingness that allows people to uh, stay a lot uh, in the companies that they stay for a very long time and you want them to stay for a little long time if not all the time because you have would have invested in developing their skill set making them understand the organization and by the time they are fully ripe and they're fully able to work on it they will be able to you know that's when you'll make uh, good business out of them. Uh, finally, it's very critical that we don't trust as MSMEs or as businessmen, we should not trust our goals and our visions on our employees. We need to first understand what is his goal and what is his vision. Look, he's not here to grow your business, be very clear. He's here to grow his life. And if he can connect his life to what we do in the business, you will see the traction will be more and you will see productivity will increase to a great extent.